Hello and welcome. My name is Frank. I'm a passionate Rhapsody user, trainer and coach and love to share my experience to help you to become more effective. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom tables and matrices in IBM Rhapsody. Tables and matrices have always been used in classical systems engineering to represent a large amount of information such as interface definitions, traceability matrices, allocation relationships in a crisp and clear way. It is therefore not surprising that SysML also defines tables and matrices as an alternative representation to diagrams to be able to display model information and their relationships accordingly. And so, Rhapsody also provides these possibilities. In doing so, Rhapsody is not limited to SysML. Instead, it makes the functionality available on two levels. This means that tables and matrices can be used not only in SysML, but also in UML or any other context such as AutoSum. In this video, I will show you how to define custom tables and matrices in Rhapsody. First, we will start with tables and we will learn that tables consist of table layout and a table view and how the whole thing work in theory. After that, I will show the functionality in practice in Rhapsody in a small demo. Next, I will go through matrices. These also consists of layout and view and here I will likewise give a small demo. Let's start with tables. As mentioned before, a table consists of a table layout and a table view. A table layout defines what, as from what model element, what information we want to collect in a table. The table view defines the where, for example, where in the Rhapsody model the information based on the layout should be collected. By double clicking on the table view, the corresponding table is then generated from the model. With a table layout, we could say, for example, that we would like to have from classes the information of their name, set of stereotype and description. In the table view, I could then define the scope, for example, from which package A, B or C the information should be collected. With a double click on the table view, Rhapsody iterates through the corresponding packages based on the defined scope in the view and the table is generated according to the layout and the information is displayed. Let's take a look at the whole thing in Rhapsody. As I said, tables and matrices are a functionality of the tool and are notation independent. For this example, I will start with the UML software architecture. Here I have a few classes. Each of these classes has a short description and one or the other class has a stereotype. I want to get this information in a table. First, I create a table layout, where we say what elements and information we want to look for. The layout can be added in the UML context menu under Add New, Tables and Charts, Table Layout. Let's give a meaningful name for the layout, for example, Class Table Layout. In the criteria tab, I specify for what element type I want to have the table and select class. Under columns, I can now specify what information I want to have from this element type. The first thing I want to know is the name of the class. Then the stereotype. and then the description. There are a variety of information types that I can choose from. If the right one is not there, I can create my own constructs. If you want to know how to do this, I recommend the videos of Andy Lapping on Merlin's Cave. One piece of information that is always important to me is a package the element is located, also known as owner. Let's put this on the top. Next, we need a table view to define the scope. I could now create a table view directly based on the context of the table layout. That would be the fastest way. I will show that in the next demo. 
Here I will create a table view from scratch. First, we create a table view under Add New Tables and Charts Table View. Again, give it a descriptive name, for example, Class Table View. In the Feature dialog, I select my Class Table Layout to be applied under Layout. The scope is set to project level by default. I would now have Rhapsody search through the whole model for classes. In my case, I can restrict that and say I only want to search in this package. Now I'm almost done. With a double click on the table view, Rhapsody searches for classes in the selected package, retrieves the information and displays them in the table. Let's talk about matrices. The base concept is the same. A matrix layout and the matrix view make a matrix. In general, the matrix represent relationships that go from one element in one scope to another element in another scope. So for example, if I want to know from which use cases to which requirements relationships exist, I could say in the statement, go over all use cases from one scope and over requirements in another scope. And if a relationship exists, display it. Double clicking on the matrix view would then create this matrix. Let's look at the whole thing again in Rhapsody, but this time in the context of a SysML profile. In my SysML model, the diagram shows an example of a refined traceability from use cases to requirements, which is a pretty popular representation and step in many MBSE methods. First, I create again a layout. In the context of SysML, this is done by Add New, Use and Layout, Matrix Layout. A refined relationship goes from a use case to a requirement. As relationship type, I select refinement. Now I need a view. This time I create it directly from the context of the layout. Just right click, create view. The scope is by default over the whole project again. I could restrict the search scope again if I want to, but for this demo, it fits. Double click on the view and Rhapsody generates the matrix. Worth mentioning in this context is the drawing toolbar, which I just switch on. With switch rows and columns, I can, as the name says, switch rows and columns representation. With refresh, I can update, regenerate the matrix. This is important if the matrix is constantly opened and the model is changed. Then the matrix must be refreshed. But the matrix is not only representing, it is also constructive. In this way, I can perform new refine relations on the level of the matrix. Also very nice is the navigation out of the table or matrix. Just click on the element, Ctrl L and you locate the element in the browser. That's it. Please give a like. Hope to see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.